Winter God of Caesar, right here in Blackpool, England. We are ready for a showdown between two of the hottest lightweights in Bama's history. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Three five minute rounds in Bama's lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. He stands five feet eight inches tall and weighed in at 155.6 pounds. He has an impressive record of 10 wins, five losses and one draw with four of those wins by submission. Representing London Fight Factory from London, England, the Ninja, Jeremy Patty! And his opponent, fighting out of the way corner. He stands five feet seven inches tall and weighing in 155.4 pounds. He has a record of 15 wins, four losses, and zero draws, with five of those wins by TKO and five by submission. Representing SBG Mainline from Rochdale, England, Point 50 Cal, Martin Stapleton! When this main event begins, your referee charge, Mark Goddard. Protected all times, just to me all times. When I say stop, you stop. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. Let's do this. So Nick, the Winter Gardens has seen a lot here, but I bet it hasn't heard noise like this for our main event. Both these men brought huge support and so much at stake. Mansour Banui there for the taking for one of these two men. I'm sure he's watching keenly at home tonight, seeing what these two men are bringing to the cage. Nice high kick there, opened up by Martin Stapleton. They don't call him 50 cal for nothing, he packs a pat on power. Petley from that southpaw stance looking to land the left. And both men land heavy punches before they go into that clinch. Yeah, interesting, Martin is the one that chose to initiate the clinch there. He's got excellent ground and pound, so he's looking to get this down. Just work those bombs from top position. Petley, as you noted correctly, is a southpaw and he favours the single leg takedown out in the open. Yes, at sir. the moment, fighting off this clinch work from Stapleton. And as we said, Nick, both men got huge support. Opposite sides of the cage, but you heard the response when both men came in. Yeah, some nice knees there being dug into the thigh by Stapleton. They're going to pay dividends if the fight goes on later. Good balance there by Petley to prevent the takedown there. Yes, I mean, Nick, this is the perfect way to finish the night, and our main card here at Bama 19 has been superb in the matchups. As you said, these two men, so much at stake. And again, oh, beautiful kick there from Petley from that southpaw stance, but look how Stapleton took it. Oh, he took it and he just gave an even bigger body kick back there. He's very conditioned, as I say, he can take it. But Petley, dangerous with the left high kick from that southpaw stance. Needs to throw some more of it, if you ask me. Yes, a bit low there, and he acknowledged it, Stapleton, but what a night of action here for Bama 19. I said the Winter Gardens have seen nothing like this. Such quality, and look, oh, what beautiful straight shots from Beckley. Yeah, two shots right on the chin, they're connected. Didn't seem to face mine too much, but he can't be too complacent and expect to eat too many of those and get away with it. No, you've got to be careful. I mean, he did take them very well, but you don't want to be taking them. He fires back himself, already bubbling up nicely halfway through the first round here, Nick. Yeah, and these two are very evenly matched so far. Exchanging shots. I like uh, the movement of Petley, not only the head movement, but the, the footwork, left and right, left and right. Diversity of work as well, Nick. I like the way he's up and down, using the legs as well. Oh, but he shipped a big right there. You wouldn't know it. Look at him. Nice straight right. Oh, and a hook kick there by Stapes. Mixing it up, getting creative. Keeps his opponent guessing. Threatening with the right uppercut there as Petley comes in. Good movement by Petley. And with just about two minutes left, this is so evenly balanced, Nick. Once again, Duke Samuel, the matchmaking here. Two worthy combatants here for Mansour Banui to think about with his world title belt. Yeah, Martin's right hand a little bit low there. Got to be careful of the left high kick from Jeremy. Maybe he's baiting him into it so he can counter with a straight right. 
that's what he's looking for, but I mean, I've been impressed with Jeremy's boxing here. He's not got a huge KO record, but his boxing's very tidy. Tidy technique. And that left right hand over. again, Nick. That left hand lands again. I like the level changes Stokes puts in. Keeps his opponent guessing whether he's going to shoot him for the takedown or not. Nice lateral movement from Petley. Beautifully matched, and each time one of them lands, their crowd responds. I like to see a high kick on the end of the punches from either man. And again, that foot movement from Petley is really getting him out of trouble. Yeah, he shrugs and circles off the cage so he's not pressed up against it. A lot of fighters could learn from that. Oh, beautifully balanced with just over a minute to go, this one. And are you surprised he stayed upright? I don't know. I mean, when, when you've got two guys with such experience, sometimes there's this feeling out process and they don't panic and rush and try and take the fight to where they feel they're strongest. They rather send their opponent out and see if they do have an advantage or disadvantage in a certain area. And at the moment, you'd have to guess that both fighters are favouring themselves in the stand-up department. Yes, it's been very close, nip and tuck. Both landed well, and a, a kick across the midsection of Petley there from Stapleton. But he comes back, that southpaw left has landed cleanly a number of occasions. Yeah, I think the right body kick has been Stapleton's best offence so far in this fight. We well, changed that down, as you said, look for the thigh this time. We're starting to see a little bit of reddening up on the torso of Petley, where he's eating a few of those body kicks. Oh, and the first shoot is from Stapleton, but it's not going to matter much with just 15 seconds left. Excellently defended. Um, Jeremy just caught in with his left underhook and brought Stapleton back up high. But still, it's Stapleton pressing the action against the cage, and that looks good in the eyes of the judges. Oh, spinning back fist attempts right at the bell. Extremely close round, Malcolm. Very one, very hard for the uh, judges to score that one. Nick, I like the way both men stayed up right. As you said, there was, despite the ferocity of it, there was a calmness. They knew what they were doing. Their experience shone through there, and they picked their shots. And as you said, I wouldn't want to be one of the judges on this opening round because they both had their moments. Yeah, here we go to replay. That was early on, left high kick by Petley, mostly blocked by Stapes, and just getting out the range there of the straight left. There's a nice right uppercut by Stapes, but countered with three shots by Petley, who stays in the pocket and throws the fourth. That's the thing, Nick. Have you noticed they've both been happy to stay in the pocket, stand there within range and trade? Yeah, really good understanding of distancing between these guys. A lot of times with the lesser fighters, that's one of the most common mistakes, the distancing. But when you've been in there as long as these guys have, they've both had almost 20 fights each, it really starts to show. It does indeed, and here we are for the second. Oh, and that high point kick from the southpaw stance again lands on stage. Oh, but then his own right hand. This is what we're on about, Nick. Tip for tap, right from the... Oh, beautiful punch exchange! Well, I think uh, uh, Jeremy was hurt slightly there. State should have continued with the punches. He clocked him a couple of times. Instead, he's gone back to his uh, takedown attempt. But so far, Petley showing impeccable takedown defence. He's bleeding from the nose heavily from those shots. They suddenly exploded up to another level here in the second round, right from the opening. That's Hurtful. what the crowd liked to see. You're right, there's a bit of claret dropping down onto the back of Martin Stapleton, but he's continuing trying to link his hands and get that... Oh, here we go, takes the back, Petley threatening the Kamal on Stapleton's right arm. This is a precarious position for Martin, he's got to be careful. Nick, this is what you said, you had two men, very professional, had a good look at each other in the first round, and from the moment the second started, they've really stepped it up a gear, and he's out of the Kimura attempt there. Yeah. And listen to the reaction, they know what they're seeing here. A knowledgeable crowd here at Blackpool. He managed to put a bend in Stage's arm, but Stage just powered out of it and straightened his arm and back to safety. Here we are, back in the middle of the cage, extend, uh, exchanging stand-up techniques. Look at that. Oh, big left hand from Petley. What would worry me, though, if I was Petley, is Stapes has just shaken those off. Yeah, yeah it's always uh, a bit worrying when you give a strong punch and it doesn't seem to even affect your opponent in the slightest. Oh, inside leg kick, but then again, Petley explodes with the response. Oh, this has really gone up a level here in the second. Two very strong, experienced men, and they've stayed in that pocket again, they're comfortable. Despite all this, you know they both know exactly what's going on, Nick. That's what I love about this bout. It's very evenly matched up. 
I wouldn't be surprised if Jeremy shoots him for the single leg anytime soon because he's not shot in yet, so he could catch Martin out by surprise. And the good sportsmanship there, he was going for the thigh three times, the third wasn't quite where it was intended, and they both acknowledged it, but just didn't want this to stop. And here they go again. I don't mind trading punches, that's for sure. Oh, and Stapes comes forward this time, but I love Petley's movement, his footwork, it's cool, it's crisp. Yeah, he just manages to slip his head an inch out of the way and no further, which leaves him straight away in range to throw the counter again. Oh, we said, how are they going to follow the previous fight? Which was a fantastic lightweight battle, and do you know what they're doing here? This is really bubbling. Banner 19's main card tonight is on fire. Nice straight left there by Petley. Lands on the nose of Martin, but single shot needs to follow it up. And again, great movement, as you said, the head movement from both men, the way they stay in that pocket, the right kick, and listen to the response from Stapleton's crowd this time. Yeah, hugely popular fight to Martin Stapleton, would have brought a huge fan following with him tonight. And again, another one for the textbook, a body uppercut, love it. Minute 45 to go. Again, it's still balanced. It's exactly. still so balanced. It's just about to say the same thing, Malcolm. So Drew Samuel must say. be walking around with a huge grin on his face. That head kick just landed on the cheek of Petley. That was the cleanest kick we've seen so far to the head. And again, su completely surprised how well he was able to take it. Well, this is the thing from both of them. They're, just, they're not giving away anything here. Oh, big knee from Petley as he exploded forward. Lovely jumping left knee to the liver there. That's got to hurt. Well, the head movement of both men, have, as much as they've landed, they've, they've avoided a lot as well. You've got to remember that. Oh, this is bubbling beautifully. Minute left in, in round two, and you can't get anything between them. The judges here must be looking for one of them to really give you something. Instead, they both give you it again. Oh, Stapleton are going to have forward. a couple of black eyes for a couple of weeks after this bout. They are eating some punches. But neither man will give an inch. They both won this. They know how much is on the line. Well, it's a world title shot, Nick, it's as simple as that. And I think both these men are making their case to Banui in an emphatic fashion here. As he said, if he's watching tonight, he's got his hands full, whoever takes him on for that world title. Nice, nice body shot there by Stapes. It's the second time he's done that split down, worked the ribcage. Oh, and the knee as well now. Fluid techniques from this, and there you said it, the single leg attempt. You knew it would come at some stage. Yeah, but excellently defended by Stapleton there. Normally, Petley gets his opponents down nicely with that one, but Stapes has done his homework. Ten seconds to go. Who's, they're both men trying to leave a strong impression in the judges' eyes, and it was Stapes that landed the last strike. Wow, two rounds down, Malcolm. Very little in it. I'm glad we're not the judges for this one. Nick, it just makes me wonder what we're going to get for round three. I mean, I can't stress enough, Bama 19, we're just building up intensity with these cards. On top of the bills, they're superb, they're living up to expectations, the crowd are going ballistic. And let's face it here, for the, the Winter Gardens, it is rammed, and rightly so when you get action like we're seeing now in the replay, when they stood toe-to-toe -to -toe in the pocket, exchanging these. Oh, look at that! Lovely stuff. Three punches. Punches and punches, threes and fours, both men staying in range, and that was the hakey that landed flush. How he took that, I do not know. Shin to face. But that's what's happened, Nick. They've both taken it. They've not given an inch, they've not given a backward step, and they've come flying back. It's almost like these two men have seen the previous fight and go, you know what, we can top this, we can do this. They both want to make it fight of the night, that's the way it seems to me. And they're looking at each other, they're smiling, they're acknowledging each other in true sportsmanship. They know what we've got here. Third and final round now, Malcolm. And, and do you know what, Nick, for no other reason than to stop one man thinking about it, I'd love to see a proper stoppage, because if this goes to the judges, one of them's going to be heartbroken. I'd love to see in the third round the intensity step up and one of them actually win it. I agree, but you know what? Oh, oh my gosh. gosh! That's what we were saying! It's you said over. about the head kick! said I want one of them to step up and win it. Petley took the head kick last time, he couldn't this time. Ooh, that landed clean. That crocked his eyes back 
and Martin immediately followed him with a big right uppercut right to the jaw, and that was all she wrote. And then, as soon as it was over, he checked that Jeremy Petley was OK before he went and celebrated. I just said I want a, a finish. You don't get more emphatic in a finish than that. And I'm glad, because now they can both put this fight to bed. That was superb. He set it up in round two. We thought about it in round two. Round three. It's the replay. Right high oh. kick. Boom. The legs turn to jelly. Immediately, he knows he's hurt. He moves in. There's the big right uppercut. And he knew it was all over. Jeremy was done. It's a huge, huge kick. Second round, he landed cleanly, he took it well. But here he goes. What a great finish to a great fight. And as I said, I'm really pleased that we've got an exclamation mark on it because I think if this went to the judges, if this went to the judges, you could see the man going, oh, my God, but not now. That was emphatic fashion. Uh, and what a finish to a night of fights here at Bama 19. Everyone exciting, top quality. Oh, wow, well, we're going to take you to a short break before we get the official announcement from Buddy, but what a great way to finish the night here. Ladies and gentlemen, before we announce the winner of this bout, I want you all to give a huge round of applause to both fighters this evening for an impressive main event. Our referee, Mark Gunner, called a stop into this bout at 22 seconds of the third round. Your winner by TKO in the red corner, point 50 cal, Martin Stapleton. Martin, can I just say, what a great way to finish the night and an incredible fight. Credit to you both, first and foremost. Yeah, listen, Jeremy's a fucking warrior, you know. I knew coming into this fight I was going to have to give the best performance of my life because that guy's got some balls, man, so... Were you surprised that it remained throughout an upright war? You both seemed happy to stay in the pocket. Nah, I think we've both got uh, similar styles, like striker-wrestler styles. I, I didn't want to take him down anyway, you know. I wanted to keep this on the feet and have a bit of a, have a, bit of a war put on a bit of a show, because I know I can beat anyone in the world on the feet, so... Now, it looked after two rounds that it might go the full distance after a war, but there was that moment in the second where you called him with a similar kick. I, now, I caught it in the first as well, and I knew that at some point in the fight I would land that shot, and I'd knock him out with it. And Carl said to me right before the beginning of the third round, keep going with that right kick, go low with it, go high, you'll knock him out, uh, you know, and that's what happened. Well, I said just at the end of the second that it would be a crime if this went the distance and one of you went away disappointed. Luckily, you made sure in emphatic style that did not happen. Yeah, it's always the plan, and you always want to go finish these fights. You don't want to leave it in the judges' hands. Uh, you never know what the, how the judges are scoring it or whatever. You want to go out there and finish. You want to make a st I want a world title fight next anyway, so I had to make a statement in this fight. That was my next question. Mansour Banui, he'd probably be watching this tonight. I don't think he'll like what he's seen. How confident you are about getting that one on? I, I, I'm confident if you put me in the same cage as him, I'll knock him out. I don't know, he, only, only, the, uh, only the promoters can tell me if the fight's going to happen or not. I want the fight. Give me that fight and I, you know, I'll, I'll put him to sleep. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it. Hopefully, next time we see Martin in this Bama cage, it will be for the world title after an incredible finish, Martin. Fantastic stuff. Thank you very much, man. Thanks a lot.